Live from Netherland, it's Saturday afternoon. Hi! How, how is everyone doing today? So we are back and happy spring solstice, by the way, which is, I believe, tomorrow. So but it's close uh, enough. Um, yeah, it's spring solstice weekend, completely. So we wanted to come back and talk to you about Wolfie's artwork, Flowers and Circles, which, by the way, is Wolfie's course he is the artist here for all of these art pieces but this is actually my art I own this piece yep. That's um, hers. this you is my it, framed piece you, you, you can't have it <laughs> <laughs> so it's sold but yes yeah, so that um, flowers and circles actually the original art piece does belong to me and um, but we are offering prints of it so you can get this in prints of any size and green cards too exactly and um, it's so, just so that you know, it's not all lost for flowers and circles. Um, but yes, before anyone gets excited about this painting, um, because most paintings that we show you, the originals are for sale, actually. But there are a couple of Wolfie's artworks that I have in my own private collection. And so this is one of them. And so you want to tell us more about yeah. it. When did you paint it? 2011. So it's... 10 years ago or around 10 years thereof. Yeah. I was painting this while I was working at the Denver Botanic Garden, which uh, most of my, I seem to paint a lot of flowers coming out. That's great. During my time working Such there. Oh yes, there were flowers just everywhere I went and they were all gorgeous and beautiful and people would ask me all the time, do you know the name of that flower? And no, I still don't know the name of this flower. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even bother to look it up. It, it looks like it's something like a daisy, but I'm not really sure. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think of Daisy as well. They're, I just, yeah. It's... But one of the things the garden has is a lot of a lot of water or pools. And some of the pools have tile in them, which you can sort of see in the background on this one. Nice little rectangle or blue tiles on the bottom. I painted the, a flower that was simple enough to paint. You know, I, I'm all those complex orchids. Oh, no, thank you. Not right now. <laughs> but we did a nice, easy daisy or a daisy type of flower. But this was one of the paintings where originally I didn't have the surface of the water, aka the dark circles. Those weren't there until near the end. And I was just staring at the painting and staring at it. It's like, it needs something. It needs something. So that's when I went in with the dark circles to create the illusion on the water surface yeah I love I love this painting um I fell in love with it right after he painted it and I think I kind of claimed it pretty quickly mm -hmm. <laughs> um and so that's yeah, mine <laughs> that's mine and it is professionally framed in um with museum glass actually and I love it it's a 14 by 20 just you know original without being framed but it hangs up um normally upstairs Mm -hmm. and in our home if so you order prints you can get them smaller or larger than the original yes you can you can get this print actually um produced extremely large if you'd like um and i encourage you to go to our website um which is who you know i'm edna and wolf this is wolfie if Hello. we hadn't mentioned that yet and we're with the wolfie wolf fine art gallery and, and website and it's an art store essentially and that's where we sell all of our prints and originals. So you can go there and take a look. You can get this one in a greeting card right now because we have just started offering those. And so if you look at the prints section at the very bottom um, of the mediums, you'll see greeting cards. So please take a look and play with that tool because there is a lot of fun stuff you can do with it. But it's at www.wolfywolffineart.com. So please go there, definitely, and check it out. Go look at the artwork. We'll see, as you can see, I'm a fan already because I own this piece and a couple honest. of others. Yes, <laughs> I'm one of his biggest fans. And um, But you can see a lot of other of his artwork. And we will be showing you some new stuff soon. So we're going to have a new art gallery opening up soon on that store. So stay tuned. But um, is there anything else we want to share about this mm -hmm. painting? I don't think we have anything on the painting. Okay. Um, is there anything else going on? I guess we need to share. Well, for those that watched last week, we had the impending snowmageddon, and we did get about two and a half, three feet of snow. But yes, we did. Power stayed on, so we were all fine and, and lucky. Yes, we were very fortunate. So we're getting another one supposedly like tonight it's or It's only supposed to be tomorrow. a few, maybe 
six inches, I think. So yeah, it's, just a couple feet. A little of snow. small normal snow that we haven't had for a while. Yeah. So that's about it. So there you go on the front of snow in spring, which happens here all the time, by the yes, way. It's if a you're... war where we're at in Colorado and especially in the Front Range. A war between summer and winter. One day it's summer, it's 60 degrees, sunny, and the next day it's 20 degrees and snowing, and then two days later it's sunny and wonderful again. Yes, it's sunny today, actually. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. Anyway, so thanks for watching Thank us. You. And if, yeah, talking about um, flowers and circles, if you would like to know more about it, please do go to the website at www.wolfywolffineart.com, and you can find this one under abstracts. Um, this is under the abstract gallery, so please go in there and check it out and uh, Thank you again, and we will be back. So we appreciate you guys watching us do these videos and um, We love you. We really really do so Thank you. Mwah. Bye -bye.